Good day, this is Bobby Curtis, Director of Product Management for Oracle Golden Gate. And today I'm going to walk you through how to set up Oracle Golden Gate Microservices um, version 19.1. This is the newest architecture of Oracle Golden Gate, which is out. So it will be a fairly quick install, but it just give you some insight to how the install actually works. First, we need to open a terminal window, go to where the software is staged. In this case here, we're going to use v983321-01. This is actually the the e-delivery file name. Uh, you can also find the file on OTN as well. So I'm going to unzip this. Delivery directory that I have access to. Mm. And so it'll take it a few seconds to un un unzip. And once it's unzipped, then we can go into that directory. All right, so that's there. So we'll go into the directory where we unzipped it. And as you can see here, there's still some file directory. So we go into the FBO directory, go into the disk one directory, and then right here's where you see the run the run installer. I'm gonna run run installer in the background just so that way I have I can still mess with the command line if, if need be, but we shouldn't have to. Actually you will when you get to the root script execution, but that's later on in the in the process here. And so now, as you can tell, we have a universal installer that which is going to install install Oracle Golden Gate for us, and we're going to install 19.1.002 into the same. It's a five-step wizard, so it's fairly simple to install. Um, on the first, on the installation options, you have you have four different options that which you can install here, and these are really just references to the Oracle Golden Gate libraries that which you have. Not, excuse me, not Oracle Golden Gate libraries, but the Oracle database libraries or Oracle client libraries that you have to have access to in order to run your extracts and replicate processes. So Oracle Golden Gate 19C is what we're going to install. Uh, we also have Oracle 18C, that which is supported. Oracle database 12C is supported as well. 12.1.0.2 and 12.2.0.1 are supported, and then Oracle Golden Gate 11G, 11.204 are supported. So just for, for purposes of, of this install, we're going to go ahead and say Oracle 19C. And then it's going to ask you for software location. Software location is actually, will actually be your Oracle Golden Gate home. In this case, it's pre-populated because I have the environment variable set already on this box to say where Oracle Golden Gate home is going to be at. So in this case here, I'm gonna have an opt apt Oracle product 19.10 and OGG core one. Now on the summary page, you're just basically gonna get, okay, this is well, where you go, where's the source of the binaries are coming from, uh, the disk space that which is required and what, what you're gonna be installing here and then the installation of, of the software location, which is actually your Oracle Golden Gate home. At this point, you can save a response file. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save, save one here. This is just for future installs if I need to, um, and everything else. Not really a big deal, but I wanna save it just to have it. And then I can go ahead and click it and install. And now what's gonna happen here is that this is gonna take a few, just a few minutes to do, to do an install. And it's going to prepare, copy files, link binaries, and do, do the setups.
Okay, so as you get to the to the end of the of the installation, you get to the finish page and you're ready to go. And, it, and at, as you notice, there's really not much else you have to do. And so when you get back to the, back to the command line, as you can tell, it's ready set. It's already ready to set to go. And then you can just go to the OGG home directory and you'll see all the installation directories. And one thing to notice here is that if you do an ls-la, um, the directory structure has changed compared to the classic architecture. The Oracle Goldgate microservices arch architecture takes more of a Linux-based approach to how it lays out the file structure. So all of our executables that which we will run in another video when we set up a service manager and a deployment are actually can be found in the bin directory. And so when you look at the bin directory, um, you actually get all the additional, all the executables that which are available for the Goldgate microservices arch arch architecture. So um, with that, that's just really a quick and the quick way to install Oracle Goldgate from the Oracle Universal Installer. Um, have fun and let me know if you got any questions. Thank you. Bye.